I have been watching YouTube and some videos over the past couple of months or so and uh, I'm not shocked but it's just an interesting thing to see so many people who are misinformed about traditional martial arts and what I mean by that is that there is a segment of the so-called martial arts community that don't believe that traditional martial arts works in modern day society and our times and most of these people who are proponents of the opposite viewpoint or opinion are these new age martial arts practitioners or so called martial arts practitioners who are involved in the MMA or mixed martial arts now mind you I'm not talking about everyone that's involved in mixed martial arts. There are some people who are worthy to carry that moniker, if you will, mixed martial artists who have had some traditional martial arts training in our background. But there's a younger generation, for the most part, or an inexperienced generation, for the most part, as well. They have no clue about what they're talking about when they say traditional martial arts don't work in the street. They're basing everything that they say on ground fighting for the most part, Muay Thai practices and uh, Jiu Jitsu, BJJ or Brazil, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and this kind of stuff. Let me tell you, none of this stuff was even popular. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was not popular across the world until about 20 years or so ago I say 20 years or so you fill in the blanks whenever it actually came to bear maybe 20 to 30 years I was still around and I was still an active participant in the martial arts studies and training martial science and so forth this is new stuff um, I'm not saying that it's new in that it just began. I'm just saying in terms of its popularity. So let's keep that straight. Now, uh, a lot of these guys are hotheads, arrogant, narcissistic clowns just making these statements that traditional martial arts don't have a place in today's martial arts world. Did you not know and this is for the general audience. Did you not know that before there was any of this other stuff that you see today that's called mixed martial arts came from traditional martial arts? It did. Traditional martial arts came first. It is the foundation for what you are doing today in mixed martial arts. And mixed martial arts existed before the Gracies uh, and any other family from Brazil, Brazil or any other country, if you will. Mixed martial arts has been here since the beginning of time. There's always been a mixing of ideas and systems and arts throughout the history of martial arts from China to Okinawa to Japan and Korea and so forth if you look at Hapkido in Korea that has Japanese influence which makes martial arts you could call it that if you look at uh, the founder of Aikido O-sensei Morie Ueshiba he originally studied Aikijitsu and then he created from that traditional art he created Aikido from Aikijitsu and Tai Chi and whatever else he studied and if you look at Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do or Jun Fan Kung Fu if you will his foundation was Wing Chun traditional martial arts 
and his people who are teaching and practicing Jeet Kune Do. Uh, Ron Van Cleef, the dragon, the black dragon, he studied the various arts and then he has Chinese Goju Ru mixed martial arts that came from traditional martial arts. If you look at uh, Florendo there's a station who's passed now uh, he studied various arts and he created the Jitsu from traditional martial arts. If you look at his uh, student Grandmaster Moses Powell Sanukis Ru of uh, Jiu Jitsu that came from his teachers teaching and his teachers teaching before that mixed martial arts came from traditional martial arts so when we start saying that traditional martial arts has no place we have to remember the foundation traditional martial arts was the foundation and or the groundwork for everything that we do today and for that matter every time we use the expression let me clarify something for some of you when we say old school, and I'm old school, when we use the expression old school, it doesn't mean that it's outdated or useless. Old school means simply, in simple terms, that it's proven. That's what old school really means. It means that it's the foundation for what you are doing today, no matter what it is, martial arts or otherwise. So when you say someone, oh, you're old school, that just simply means that I'm doing what they did in the beginning which evolved into what you are doing right now. It doesn't make what I'm doing useless. It makes what I'm doing take a place of prestige and honor because you wouldn't be doing what you're doing if it wasn't for me in the way in which I came first. So you have a lot of guys today trying to reinvent the wheel, trying to say that they have some new art or some new way of doing martial arts. It's all old school, just rewashed a different way. My system of Jinindo comes from karate, Korean martial arts, Japanese Jiu Jitsu and Chinese Kung Fu and then some but I'd be foolish to say that what I have is brand new no it's a system of what has always been that's it you can't create anything new because it's all been here before all of us so traditional Martial arts does have its place. Stick to the basics and just train. That's all you have to do. Strive for perfection in your own system and or art. Can't go wrong that way. It's a self-exploration thing. That's it and that's all. Brother Teacher out.